Kayla Fuller, Audrey Bledsoe, Noah White, Carissa Tucker, Jacob Boaster, Amy Hubbard, and Trevor Scarborough. Please come to the front office to claim your prize. Uh, kids, we appreciate all that you do to become a Ram Pride winner. You still have one Ram Pride. No, sir. Okay, keep working. Keep striving. Um, teachers, I appreciate you taking the time to submit Ram Pride winners for West High High School. Students, come to the front office to get your prize. And again, your name will go on our marquee for everybody to see. And also, our first announce announcement for today, um, Buddy Pictures are here. So um, all grade levels can sign up outside of room 310 by Miss Worst room. And for seniors, you can take it with Captain Young Pictures. Um, that's very important. Um, seniors and, and students, anytime you can have artifacts, Buddy Pictures, things you can look back on your high school years, those will be things that you cherish. Seniors, we also have a new segment that I've mentioned a couple times during the show about where our seniors are taking their talents. We'll have a form that you can pick up from our guidance secretary, Ms. Celia, and turn those forms into room 310 uh, with Ms. Worth. So seniors, we really want to start that. Um, I think we got a couple of kids that we'll highlight um, next week on the show. Also students, uh, be on the lookout for a dress code video that we did with our prom that'll be coming out. We want to give you a good visual about the do's and don'ts of the prom. So that'll be coming up on the segment as well. Okay. And uh, I know it's National Breakfast Week. So, it is uh, National Breakfast Week. Uh, and we have a lot of students here that eat breakfast. And this is a national week. And uh, we look forward to celebrating every year. So we got any, like, celebrities coming in or anything like that? Well, we don't necessarily have any celebrities. Your Uncle Terrence is going to come. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I, I wouldn't necessarily call him a celebrity. But that's Mayor Roberts will be here um should be here today uh, serving breakfast, probably out of, out of the gym area. So, again, if you, if you see my big brother, make sure you give him a warm West Side welcome. He's a 1978 graduate of West Side High School. We will also have um, Beta Club, our Beta Club ceremony tonight at 6 o'clock in the Commons. We'll induct 89 new members. That would be a great um, event for our uh, scholar students here. We've already done our National Honor Society, and, and I'm a can honestly say I was in the beta club at Westside High School. So again, it's going to be nice to uh, induct our new members to have them part of this great organization. Go Rams. Whenever you're ready. Hello Westside. We're here with Alexis Maxwell, one of our star senior students, and Miss Steeple um, to kind of give us some guidance updates. Miss Steeple. I want to talk uh, directly to juniors this morning. I really want to encourage the juniors that if you have not signed up for the SAT and ACT, I encourage you to do so as soon as possible. I'm encouraging the juniors to do at least one SAT and one ACT this year. If you do not have the dates, I want you to remember to come by my office. We have all of the dates as well in the guidance lab that are listed. Um, we have probably two or three remaining dates for this academic school year. It is so important that you start this year so that when senior year comes, you can definitely be prepared, be ready to apply to the colleges, and get accepted to the colleges of your choice. 
That's wonderful. Thanks for the update, Miss Steeper. And Alexis and I met uh, one day in the cafeteria, and we talked at the bus parking lot, and she told me that she wanted to go to Lander, and I was asking what the problem was or what she was waiting on, and Alexis, what did you tell me? Um, my problem was really that I kind of waited too late to go and take my test. I started in December um, when I really should have started being a senior. I should have started in August. So my advice to you seniors is please, well, upcoming seniors, please go do your SATs as soon as possible. Again, that's very important. And, and we kind of think here at Westside, sometimes the peers and the students need to talk to each other because those things are very important. We hope you get your scores back. We look forward to you going to Lambda. We look forward to you when you get that information to you to transfer that to Miss Steeple so we can make a big deal of it. We want all our seniors to be college and career ready. Go Rams. Hello, Westside. We're here on the Corey Roberts Show with two of our standout softball players and our softball coach, Coach P. Well, he's Coach P to me because <laughs> he was one of my coaches when I was a student here at Westside, um, Coach Patterson. Um, talk to us about the softball season and, and how you feel about it. Well, uh, we lost all of our scrimmage games and lost our first tournament. So we had our first game action last night. And um, we didn't look bad. We played the number five ranked 3A team in the state and lost to them 7-4. to four. But I, I, was, I wasn't displeased with, with how we played. And I was really pleased with how we hit the ball. Well, we know hitting is a, is a big part of scoring runs. Um, right. Jaleel, I know you've been playing for a while. Talk to us a little bit about your expectations coming into this year and maybe what position you play. Um, I play shortstop. Um, I just I want us to win region this year and go a little farther in the playoffs. Okay, good. Now, Reagan, I know you've been playing for a while, too. You're a senior. How long have you been in our program? Since seventh grade. And what are some of your expectations? I know you want to go out on a good note in your senior year. Yeah, I would like to at least make it to the playoffs, if not win the region. That's good. Now you're playing what position this year? First base. First base. Uh, so I think it's very important that since you live at shortstop and you're at first, probably one of the big things you want to happen is when the ball goes to short, you want a good throw to first. Yes. It'll make your job a lot easier. <laughs> uh, Westside, make sure you come out and support our softball program. They've been working real hard. I think we got some great hitters this year and fielders. Come out and support your team. Go Rams. We're here on location with Ms. Mitchell. Ms. Mitchell, we know you're ahead of our attendance team here at Westside. That's something um, that we're really trying to focus on this year, um, getting kids here to school and trying to give them some incentives and rewards for coming to school. I feel like attendance is a soft skill that if kids come to school, one day it's time to go to work, mm -hmm. yeah, come to work and go to work on time. Talk to us a little bit about that. Well, what we've been trying to do is, um, through teachers' feedback, we've been trying to provide incentives for students who are attending regularly. Um, what we tend to do is look at academics but and athletics, but our students who are just coming in, which is a, a big thing, like you said, it's a great soft skill, we want to reward them. Uh, so what we have done is we have taken a list of all of the students who have had perfect attendance, no absences and no tardies from the beginning of the third nine weeks up to midterm. And we have their names all in this basket. And so what we're going to do is we're going to draw 10 names and those students will uh, receive a coupon that will allow them to get, uh, it's redeemable for free pizza from Papa John's. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So you're going to draw five. Can I draw five? You do that. How about right. you start off? Okay, I will. I wonder who. Maybe. <laughs> Shake it up. Make it good. Make it good. Twat. Ty Gant. Ty Keyshawn. Ty Quavius Gant. Gant. Okay. Ms. Mitchell. All right. Ty Quavius Gant was the first. Our second is Ren Brissy or Breesy. Ashley Reed. Next, we have Megan Holiday. Taylor Crawford. Quintarius Groves. You find me a good you find one. Fresh. You a good one. You got it. You got it. Uh, we have Brantley Smith. Catherine Gavaret Marimone. And we're sorry if we're butchering your names. <laughs> so I got and my you. last one, this is probably a junior. You got it. Look at a junior. 
Jonathan Bruce. Okay. And the last one is Daniela Rice. You all can come down to the front office. Is that where you want them to come? Yes, that'd be fine. Now, what do they receive again? They're going to receive a coupon redeemable for a free pizza from Papa John's. You know what? This is ironic because Jonathan Bruce's mother works at Papa John's. <laughs> so, again, students, we appreciate you coming out. We appreciate you being on time. We appreciate the how you make attendance important here at Westside. Go right. For sure. I'm here with Mr. Lovelady and Mr. Russell. We certainly appreciate you guys for bringing this wonderful uh, craft behind us. Could y'all kind of speak to us and tell me or uh, tell us how this could benefit Westside students? Yes, sir. Uh, this aircraft represents $10 million of STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics assets. And we have this aircraft uh, from the Defense Department to take to the schools like this one here in order to connect the classroom to the real world jobs and reinforce the importance of the STEM subjects so that once aware of the myriad of career fields that exist right here in South Carolina, students have time to focus on the more difficult science and technology and engineering and mathematics uh, studies so that they can qualify for one of these jobs. We've got over 400 aerospace manufacturers just in South Carolina and every one of them need a sustainable STEM literate workforce and I'm going to let Larry Russell who's our executive director speak a little bit more about this as an edu a 10 million dollar educational STEM asset. Larry? What we bring is something very exciting. Most students when they see an airplane or helicopter it's a mile in the sky. They have no idea how large this is. So we bring this right in front of them. I'm a pilot. I'm a subject matter expert. I tell them exactly the way it is. So we hope that we get a spark in their belly, a tinkle in their eye, so they think about where they want to be for careers and how important it is to learn the STEM subjects. And South Carolina is now a gold mine as far as aviation industry. There's thousands of jobs available, high-paying jobs, but you've got to have a plan, and you've got to work the plan and that's all you do in high school to learn STEM subjects. I tell you, Westside, you heard it here. I got a brochure, some packet of information. It's a camp coming up. See your guidance counselors if you need more information, or come see your principal. Go right. Now, I really enjoyed the movie clip last week from uh, Facing the Giants. Did you get any feedback from it? Well, actually, I did. You know, I asked the students to have discussions um, with the teachers or have some discussions with me. And Miss Gutshaw and Miss Temple's class actually wrote me some letters about what it meant to them. We had a couple here, uh, Holden Dunn wrote that the clip is about a leader of a team and how others will follow if you do the right things. Through the pain, there's greatness. You need to push through the pain to reach greatness. People will be there to push you to get you to your highest point. When you think you can't, then you should. You should just keep trying. And we also had, like I said, the whole class wrote, Tyreek Thomas had a good opening line. Um, that said, I guess my understanding from the movie clip meant you had to push yourself if you really want to get somewhere in life. So again, Ms. Gutshaw and Ms. Tindall's class, I appreciate the time that you um, took from the class to let me know how you felt about the movie clip, and that'd probably be something that we'll do again on another show. Thank you, and go right